Hi all and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to cover off a really powerful tool designed for your storage needs. Now I'm talking about Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Now this is version 12.8. Now full disclosure, they did reach out to me to do this review and they have provided me a license key as part of that process. However, they will not have any other influence on this review. They won't get to see this before it's uploaded to YouTube and I will certainly just give my personal and professional opinions on these. I've worked in the IT industry for a very long time and using Partition Wizards has become kind of a second nature and custom uh, that I often fulfill and I've used many tools over the years. So now realistically, we've got our free edition up here, which we can download and you can absolutely use that. And I'll talk about the differences between that. So I suggest you kind of start here um, and then the pro edition. But anyway, let's kind of get on and have a look at it. So here we are in mini tool partition wizard. Now this is, like I said, the pro version. As you can see, I've got a lifetime upgrade on this, which is fantastic. However, the free version you will find, there is stuff like adverts that will sit on this. Um, you'll also find that some of these features may not be available because they're linked to the pro version only. Um, however, you can upgrade quite seamlessly. Um, I will say that there are certain stuff you can just get by with the free version as well. Um, however, that kind of investment, we'll talk about the price in a moment, is probably not massive to have a you know a lifetime upgrade or even a very good pro service with them. Um, you'll see up here I've got quite a few disks connected. Um, what I've deliberately done is wiped this one here and just so I can show you some of the processes. So down the right hand or the left hand side, we've got our main menu. We've got the Migrate uh, OS to SSD HD wizard. Now that would be something that would be very much in use if you were doing the process that I used for upgrading the hard drive in the ROG Ally, the Legion Go, the the Steam Deck, those kind of things. Fantastic tool to use because basically you can take a direct copy, migrate one to the other, and then do some resizing afterwards. Uh, this is also useful, obviously, if that's generally what you're doing, right? If you're taking a spinny disk, for example, on a laptop or something like that and changing it to SSD, or even if you're migrating your OS from a smaller NVMe drive to a larger one, this tool can absolutely have you covered. Uh, you've got the option to copy a partition. So any partitions that exist in another disk, you can absolutely copy to another. I do a full copy disk. So this won't set it as bootable. That's one thing to be aware of, but you can just do a complete copy of a disk. Uh, you've also got partition recovery. Uh, that will be a pro feature, but basically you can pull down uh, recovery partitions. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we've got the move, resize, merge partitions, split partitions, which is very cool. Um, the merging is very useful for when you've got situations like this where you've got some recovery partitions you can do some merging in there uh, converting the ntfs to fat that's generally used if you're using uh, something that will only be supported in fat 32 for example uh, and also set partition as primary so you've got some simple ones in the changes uh, you've got delete format copy align wipe etc i don't need to go through them all but they're there right so what we're going to do is just take a quick view on this now so this one is totally empty at the moment well what i can do in here is go to move and resize as you can see here at the moment this is a two terabyte uh, external ssd what i might want to do is just say well actually i want a partition at that size right so click ok you'll notice that it will say one operation pending at the bottom here i just need to click apply that will do the changes that will then go and do the process now this should be fairly quick because it's not doing a a lot it's basically just having to update the partition information and as we can now see here we now have a partition size there as 140 and the rest of it split out that way now that's really useful if you wanted to segregate your data on a disk now you're not always going to want to do that but let's let's take another use case for example right um, let's now go and delete these partitions so let's remove this one so I'll just do a delete, uh, then apply. That partition is then gone. So again, it's a nice, easy way to create and uncreate a partition. What I then may want to do is actually just create a new partition on here um, that will give me the full, right? So this will just be a full partition. And on here, I want to use the absolute maximum amount of space, uh, align it to that, and then click OK. And then again, just click apply, and that will go off and do that. Now, this time, I'm basically assigning the full disk to be partitioned so that I've got all of that available space to be utilized. Now, 
the use case for this is I'm preparing this for another section that I'm going to do. So now this is now full. What I can do is do a copy. So if we talk about the copy disk wizard, for example, I'm going to take disk six and copy it to disk five. So this is another way of doing it, considering I'm not making it bootable because this isn't a bootable drive, but it just kind of shows you the process because it's exactly the same. But I can click on the copy disk wizard. It will take you through the GUI interface. So it's going to, you'll be able to look at what you're doing. You can kind of confirm. So I'm saying here, the, the actual disk to copy is going to be disk six. So that's my source. What I'm then going to do is select my target and it's automatically selected disk five because it knows that's a similar size. You can copy to one smaller depending on the target. You can then just adjust the partition size. But on this case, I'm just gonna click next. And what it will say is all data on the disk will be destroyed. That's kind of how you'd expect. But this is what I mean. So you can basically then do different copy options. So you can fit partitions to the entire disk or copy partitions without resizing, uh, align partitions to that, and then use also the GUID partition table to that target disk. Now I'm just gonna select the defaults on here and it will tell you to boot from this new disk, please configure the computer bias settings, etc. I'm not booting from it, so that's fine. And then all I need to do is click apply. And what we will have at the end of this is two completely mirrored drives. So this is one nice simple way of basically taking the partitions and copying them from one disk to other. So if you're migrating data, there's another way of doing it, right? So rather than me actually physically moving the data, I could just literally copy the whole disk and, it, and it's done. So obviously I've copied our partition, but you can do copy disk. Um, oh, sorry, I don't copy this, but I could do a copy partition as well. So I could just take the full partition and do a copy. Now, as I've done a disk, what it's going to do is a sector by sector. So I'm just going to let that carry on. So while my copies were in a way in the background, let's just have a quick look at the options here for pricing, just so that we understand the difference. So like I said, there is a free version. The pro version does happen to have this pricing point. So they do often run deals, so it's very much worth checking the pricing. Um, but you'll see at the moment, I can get a lifetime upgrade, which gives me data recovery and a five PC license for $159. So that is a one-time purchase for that. Now, the good thing is because it's a lifetime upgrade, every time this version steps forward, so whether it's 12.8, 12.9, 13, etc., that's it. It's, it's not like the Blue Iris style uh, licensing agreement where you're only paying for a certain version release. This is a lifetime upgrade. So you can pretty much upgrade even when it goes uh, mini tool partition wizard 27 you're still going to have that availability. So for that price point, I think this is actually a really, really nice tool to have, especially the fact you can put it onto a 5PC license. Now, like I said, you can absolutely get away with the free for certain elements. You will start to find, though, that some of it is then locked behind that paywall, and this is how it kind of breaks down. So you can see what you can and can't do on each of these sections so the the good thing is like i mentioned you do have this version here where basically you can just do the move resize extend check file systems etc you then do need to move to the pro to kind of step it up a little bit like you can do a normal pro which is an annual subscription this won't allow you to do that upgrade um so i probably would stay clear of this kind of price point because to be honest you could just jump that much and then have it for life um, and that's the key thing so and also you're gaining the option to have it on five pcs so that's probably if you look at the pound for pound price if you had to buy five of these where well, it's going to well outweigh the cost of that so i would absolutely recommend if you're going to look at the pro features you might as well step up at least to that level because there's no point stepping to this one you'd step to the next so uh, supported file systems and operating systems it pretty much is windows um, they don't seem to have any support for mac os i had a quick look um, so it is a windows based system uh, supported file systems are listed there so it's fat 12 16 32 xfat ntfs and then the linux ones which is extension 2 3 and 4 uh, supported hard drive types are fairly obvious so they are normal storage uh, solid state um, other kinds of solid state like flash cards external hard drives usb flash to cards dynamic disks and then raid devices as well so okay so popping back into the tool i've just cancelled that because one it will take quite a while for me to run that and i don't want to 
sit here waiting for a few hours for that to run in the background. But what I have noticed is one of my uh, NVMe drives, which basically hosts some of my games, has this weird little partition here, which is sitting at 16 meg. Now, what this would be is likely a recovery partition. Um, I want to claim that back because it's not really being used, right? So let's just go through that process. And what I'm going to do in this case is delete that partition. So you now notice that's unallocated. What I'm then going to do is go in here and basically do a move and resize and then just drag that extra amount out. So you'll notice it literally went up a little bit. Uh, click OK and then I'll just apply that. So what's going to happen now is that one terabyte uh, drive I've got is going to gain <laughs> that extra 16 meg back, which is going to make all the difference, right? But yeah, I'm just using something to show you. So again, it's a nice little tool just to, to be able to do those kind of changes. And I notice, particularly when you're doing partitions with the likes of Linux, um, partitions, when you ever try to bring them over to Windows, it's an absolute nightmare. So having these kind of tools will make life easier. Okay, so what we're going to do is take this disk 7 here and completely wipe it, stick some data in it, and then do a recovery. So let's just go through that process. So let's delete this, these two partitions. Uh, let's apply those and break them. Okay, then what we're going to do is create a partition. Uh, I'm going to keep it as NTFS. I'm going to go for the full amount. Well, actually, no, let's not. Let's not go for the full amount. Let's make this simple so that we don't have any major challenges here with doing the restore. But let's just make it uh, yeah, about a gig. So we'll just mark it there, uh, create that partition. As you can see, we've now got a HNTFS. We'll apply that. And what we'll do is we'll write a little bit of data to that partition. So if I go to H, for example, it's now completely empty. What I'm going to do is just drop something in here. So let's take something from here, for example. And uh, let's take these two files just as a start of 10. And drop these in here. So they're only two pretty small files, which is two exports. And then we'll just minimize that. And what we'll then do is delete that partition. <laughs> Scary. After we've deleted that partition, I'm going to want to recover it. So going in here, we've got this partition recovery wizard. I can click next. Uh, I can then go and look at H. And now the good thing is I can do a specific range so knowing that that was early on i could drop the search radius of this significantly so what i'm going to do is basically drop this down to i don't know let's just say that right hopefully we should then be able to recover that partition fairly quickly and you can see there lost and deleted, right? So it's found that instantly. So I can now click on this, click finish, and it's restored that. So I'm just gonna do it and apply. Now the interesting thing will be whether the data now comes back. So if we go into H when it appears, let's give it a chance and it will. We might have to assign a drive letter because it probably doesn't have a current drive letter. So let's give it back H and apply that. And then go and find H. And there we are, there's those two export files that we spoke about earlier. So you can absolutely use this if you accidentally manage to delete a partition. Now, I don't necessarily mean in here either. If you delete a partition the other way or if a partition becomes corrupted, you can absolutely restore it that way as well. Uh, it does also have a data recovery side. So if you're just looking to recover data, 
you can also use that. I believe that is part of the pro version only. So these are some very, very powerful tools that you've got at your disposal with the mini tool partition wizard. So let's recap on mini tool partition wizard. Now the version I was looking at was 12.8. Obviously I had the pro version, which may change some of the experiences, particularly around the speed. Um, but overall I found mini partition tool wizard very fast and reliable. So in my test with operations like resizing, moving partitions, uh, they've all completed without any challenges. Uh, the interface is very responsive and the software actually handles large drives particularly well. Uh, in the past when I've used other tools, that's been one of the things that's always been a bugbear. So what are the pros and cons? Um, the user interface, I would say, is very clean. It's very clear. You don't really have many challenges around that. Um, the feature set is very comprehensive. Uh, the performance, like I mentioned, is very reliable. I've not actually had any failures as yet. And the partition recovery tool is an excellent feature. It might not be fully unique to Minitool, but it absolutely works flawlessly in this setup. Now, some of the cons and my bugbears are one, that obviously a lot of those features are locked behind a paywall, but you can fully understand that operating model. And to be honest, for the actual outlay of owning this tool with a lifetime upgrade, it's not a hard pill to swallow. Particularly if you look at going for the 5PC license, which was around, at the time of making this video, about $159. Uh, obviously, as well, I think the biggest pain in my backside was having no dark mode or me not being able to find it. Um, so from that respect, that was a little bit of a letdown because these days not everybody wants their retinas burnt out. So it's just something that they can maybe consider. But in conclusion, Mini Partition Tool Wizard is an excellent tool for anyone looking to manage their disk partitions effectively. Um, the free version obviously does offer plenty of functionality, but that pro version certainly unlocks a larger powerful feature set. Uh, so whether you're a casual user or a pro consumer, for example, this software is definitely worth considering. Um, but that's it for today. Um, hope you found this video helpful. Um, please give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe and even hit that bell. Um, also, let me know in the comments below if you're going to look to use Mini Partition Tool Wizard. Uh, you will find my link at the bottom there. I'm not going to get any referral from it, but it's just that they can track metrics. Um, but absolutely, go give it a try. It's well worth it. And I'll see you next time.